that US President Joe Biden has announced that he will no longer be running at the next election. Instead, he has nominated or endorsed his Vice President Kamala Harris to take the reins in the race against Donald Trump. That doesn't mean it's going to happen. The resignation posted to Twitter this morning, it only happened a short time after his fellow Democrat Barack Obama withdrew his support. The president reflecting on his time while announcing his decision to the public. So the statement reads, or part of it this morning, it's been the greatest honour of my life to serve as your president. And while it has been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. I will speak to the nation later on this week in more detail about my decision. Bill and Hillary Clinton have released a joint statement this morning saying we join millions of Americans in thanking President Biden for all he has accomplished, standing up for America time and time again. With his North Star always being what's best for the country, we are honoured to join the president in endorsing Vice President Harris and we'll do whatever we can to support her. So an endorsement for Harris there. Not so much from Barack Obama, though. The former president issued his own statement this morning saying, I also note Joe has never backed down from a fight for him to look at the political landscape and decide that he should pass the torch to a new nominee is surely one of the toughest in his life. But I know he wouldn't make this decision unless he believed it was right for America. It's a testament to Joe Biden's love of country and a historic example of a genuine public servant once again putting the interests of the American people ahead of his own that future generations of leaders will do well to follow.